Hey there, YouTubers. Today we're going to talk about sex. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been quite a while since uh, I've done a video on this channel about sex, and I think it's an important thing to talk about, so here we are um, doing that now. Let me see just a second. It's a, little, it's a little dark in here, so let me see if I can get a little bit more light. And okay. featuring the pups, which is yes. not too far off from reality. Accurate. <laughs> so, if if um, if you have pets, you know that sometimes they're around when when you're being intimate. This lighting is still isn't right. Um, it's too dark, it's too light, I don't know. We'll just go with it. Yeah. Oh, Russell, Russell Burglar woke up. Okay. <laughs> so first things first, and this is, uh, I mean, it's not hugely important, but um, but it, it's not, but it is. Um, so since I've been uh, with Rachel, and actually since, it's it's actually more just in the past like six months. Six months. Yeah. In the past six months or so. Um, I've been ejaculating so much more than I ever used to. Uh, if you remember some previous videos that said I had only ejaculated maybe the <laughs> ejaculated maybe um, like two or three times in my entire life up until I was like in my early thirties. Well, now it's like become a norm almost every time. It's it's almost every time. It's it's un it's unreal. I'm never. I, on one hand, I never expected it, but on the other hand, I, I always thought like, you know, and actually even other people would tell me, like if I, close friends, if I talk to them about my, let's say, problem, uh, they'd be like, well, maybe, you, you know, you just haven't found the right person, and maybe, yes, so, maybe that was <laughs> it. Um, also, and then this kind of goes along with that, I used to, it getting erections and staying erect used to be really hit or miss um sometimes it, it would be like 50 50 sometimes i would be able to and sometimes i wouldn't but again with rachel it's been it's been so much more <clears throat> often that i'm able to get them and able to keep them also much much longer than ever before um it's lovely it it is lovely Mm. Uh, so now there's still the occasion when he's he oh so um, well we call him Ganon <laughs> and uh, we call her Zelda so we'll just refer to them as that I should have wore the, the link shirt I guess oh yeah that would have made sense that would <laughs> um so we'll refer to them as that for the purposes of this video. So if Ganon's not working um, right away, then we'll uh, do, other stuff. do oral, uh, other stuff like oral sex or fingering or um, I, I don't... Snake charming. Uh, snake charming, yes. <laughs> snake charming, but I also I don't know if you're okay with saying this, but I, I, I just really love um, her. Her breasts are just so perfect and I love, love sucking on them. So that that um, very often typically gets some that gets that up. that gets that's getting, gets getting going very often. Um, now, if he is working immediately, then we do penetration first, like right away, and then afterward we would <laughs> <laughs> afterward we would do the stuff that would be normally considered foreplay. So I guess we can consider it after play. Um, we just enjoy each other. Yeah, we just kind of play it by ear. Whatever works that time works that time. There's no real that's, that's plan or anything. Like, there's no right or wrong way. I think that's the biggest thing about your situation being unique is that you have to be flexible. Yes. You can't just be like, this This is how the, the right. sex act's going to play out. Like, right. It's just not... <laughs> that. The, if you, if you, you have, gotta be willing to have fun and just yeah, if, just kind of let it unfold. If if you have any kind of disability or really, I mean, honestly, For even anybody, if you don't have on. a disability, you just have to be able to be. Like nothing's gonna ruin the mood faster than yeah thinking that something's gonna play out right. The way you want yes. It to. Um. So also, well, 
you this is a more a you thing, so you want to talk about that or um well this is the first time in my life I feel like um my needs have been first and that's that makes it so much more fun because it's like with traditional sex it's like once the guy's done it's like hmm, okay guess we're done here <laughs> but um um with you it's been so, just been so much better it's just like hmm. I, I, just, I can't even put it into words. And as I've already said, but with her, it's been far, far better than um, ever before. And um, oh shoot, lost my train of thought. Um, that that's a thing. <laughs> but um, oh, so yeah, that's what it was. But so for for me, um, being that I was so used to not like having him either not work or n not being able to ejaculate or anything like that so I was I've always been more focused on the woman's needs than my than more focused on the woman's needs than my needs um, but which I definitely was not used to but now even though he he's been working better I'm I still I still go into uh, like love making and everything that way, more focused on her than me, and um, <laughs> and, and I'm more focused on you, so it's like right, a, yeah. So it wor it, it it works like, out nicely. As long as you're both putting in 110, it's just sorry it's so much better. So my roof is being redone right now, <laughs> and the the pups really don't like the extra noise. Yeah, we uh, heard them well, banging away on the roof, so I thought we might as well just talk about this. Yeah, we might as well talk about banging. <laughs> Um, okay, so, oh, uh, we don't use sex as a bargaining tool either, because that's not healthy for the relationship. Any and, relationship. Yeah, for any relationship. No. Um, but especially if you're, if you're dealing with a relationship with someone who has a disability, that, that's gonna, I mean, it's gonna be bad for any relationship, but for someone who has a disability, it would be probably much more traumatic even than... Yeah, oh, it's just me. Rustle, rustle. I know. Yes, um, there was something more I wanted to say regarding this thing, but I can't remember what it is right now. Well, so if we we'll, think about yeah, it. Yeah, if we know. think about it, we'll come back to it. Any hoodle doodle. So, <laughs> er, like, randomly when we talk, just any day, we'll come up with, like, role play ideas, like, um, uh, like Robin Hood and Maid Marian, or, um, I, I don't know, uh, like the maid, the yeah, the maid and the the homeowner or the professor and the the student or something like that. Uh, you know, all these like goofy all ideas. these goofy ideas, and then we're like, oh my god, that would be so hot. Let's do that. And then when we actually like get into the lovemaking, we never even think of that because we're just we're honestly so hot for each other <laughs> that we don't need any other. Um, like any role play stuff really further there was this one time so i put this sexy oh. lingerie on and, he, and gannon's just like not having it He's yeah like, eh, he was like whatever mm -hmm. okay let's just go to bed you know yeah. whatever if he wakes up in the middle of the night then we'll oh yeah that's right because uh, we'll talk mm -hmm. about that but go ahead i'll take care of it then you know um and i'm like okay i just throw on this old granny i call it my granny sweater <laughs> as soon as i snuggle into bed he was like Raging. He was raging. So we have, <laughs> we have a running joke that he likes granny sweaters. Yes, the granny sweaters. <laughs> lingerie and all that. He's he's complicated. Um, but not. Um, you know what? Well, you know what it was though. You, you had this sweater on, but you didn't have anything on under it, and your titties like were were peeking out. And mm. oh, so good. Anyway, <laughs> um, before <laughs> before we get lost in that thought. Um, so yeah, so like, he'll randomly, you you know, you'd think like random nighttime boners would stop like when you're past, I don't know, a certain age, but I'm almost 40 now and I still get them. So occasionally when I get them, um, if we both happen to wake up around the same time in the middle of the night. I'll take my hand and go. Yes. <laughs> I'll put her hand on my, on my, on my Schwanstucke, <laughs> and, um, that, and that gets her riled. Yeah, and, and then, and then we'll have a little love making session, and then go back to, to bed. Um, 
It doesn't always happen, but it, it's 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 nice when it does, provided that we're both not too tired, because that's a thing sometimes. Sure. Um, also, we do the, the we've sometimes uh, taken baths together, and um, that that one. I mean, there's always there's always you know sexual play when we do that, but the one time it was just like unreal. Um, um, I'm just sorry, zoning now thinking about our our, <laughs> ste our yes our steamy hot sex capades. Um, so okay, that oh right, so braces. So again, never before in my life had I even thought of using my braces while like during lovemaking. Um, but I think I think you brought that up actually, or I brought I, it up. I think I asked you if you ever tried it. Yeah, and I said, you know, I obviously when you're I, standing because I'm standing, and so I thought. You know, I thought it would be possible that I'd be able to do it while standing, um, and we actually we did. It's it's difficult. It requires some maneuvering. It requires some you know thinking about logistics and everything like that. But um, we we actually were able to. I don't know how much you're okay with me saying, but we were able to make it happen. Um, we were actually able to make penetration happen once so far with the mm -hmm. braces and um we've also done um other it was twice was it twice mm -hmm. oh my oh yeah oh that's right i, for I forgot um um sorry we've just had sex amnesia we, we've had we just had sex a we, we've had a lot of sex and <laughs> uh not complaining <laughs> but um no place here. but also um We've we've also made other um, stuff besides penetration happen while uh, while I'm using my braces and which is fun because it's been experiences you haven't had yes and experiences that maybe you haven't had either well never with the braces no right not with the braces um although I do remember that the one time with the braces you said the like the the body the body jacket part of the brace makes it a little i really gotta oh it get was to the oh, end of the bed like oh, was it good or was it not good it's good. oh it's good okay. i just i just <laughs> thank goodness i have strong abdominal muscles yes uh, so i mean again all stuff to consider because you have to it's, feel it's, comfortable it's, with it's experimenting it's gonna be different it's i mean obviously it, sex is gonna be different no matter who you are but again if you've got a disability there's gonna be all kinds of other stuff that people just don't think about um, and it's no. Oh, go ahead. Definitely important to have a partner that's willing to. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, try different things because some people just. I mean, well, you know what? Like, like you were saying. Um, well, oh, this. So this sure. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we were supposed to talk about this right away, but. Eh. It's getting dark again. Let me. Uh, this. Yeah. yeah. So this shirt. My Lego shirt. Um, it combines my two favorite things, Legos and the color yellow. <laughs> which, which, which is what, <laughs> which is what I told you the first time you saw me wearing it. Yes. And, um, so, <laughs> when I first saw him wearing this, we weren't an we, item yet. Yeah, we weren't together yet. But it was like you can definitely tell we, you know. We, we yeah, were thinking it. Yes, yes, yes. There well, was neither of us there were made sparks. any moves yet. There were sparks. So he wears this, and I'm, I'm, <laughs> my first thought was, because my sense of humor, I'm like, well, at least I don't have to ask the awkward question as to whether everything works. Yes. <laughs> um, and then I still uh, laugh because your dad goes, I hate when he wears that shirt. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Just out of nowhere, too. You weren't even mm -hmm. in the room. Well, I'm God. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't expect him to say that while I was in the room. But um. <laughs> so it makes me laugh. I love it. Oh God. So any. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the most important thing, as we've said, you know, you have to be willing to try new things and willing to. Sometimes we've tried things that didn't work, and we and we and you just have to move past that because if you dwell on that stuff, it's just going to ruin things after that. Typically, we just laugh it off. Yeah, which is our final point, which is 
to to have fun. I mean, we just make sure you have fun and that you're enjoying it. Like, don't don't overthink it. That's yeah. Because I mean, there's been times where like we'll, we'll move a leg over and I'll get and I like need I, somewhere I need Zel need Zelda <laughs> accidentally or there was or there's, there's that other time you kicked me in the head. You know, those things happen, but you. And then you we laugh. laugh. And then you laugh. But sometimes yeah. it's like the laughing will kind of. What? It will make him not want to work. Yeah, some, right. So, so some, I'm like, oh, okay, well, he'll come back. And yeah, exactly. Can... Sometimes, yeah, the laughing will, he'll be like. Mm -hmm. um, but like you said, sometimes they'll come back right after that or yep. shortly after that. And then it's so good. You know, and, and, and <laughs> yes, and, and 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 we do we do laugh a lot too, and that's that's important. But um, the final point is just make sure you stay safe. You know, um, like we've said, we've tried um, the braces and other things, different positions and whatnot. But um, you know, certain things don't work because of my disability or certain things just don't work because they don't work or, or um, what, whatever it really is. Or, tired or sore that day. Right, yeah. If she, you know, if she's been working long hours or is extra stressed out. Um, so just make sure you listen to your body. And if something doesn't feel right, then it probably isn't right. Um, and you know, there's always next time, so you can look forward to that if something doesn't work out. Or the middle of the night. Or the middle of the night, right? Or the 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 morning. <laughs> Some we both love the morning sex. Um, and how could you not? Um, but it's I the best way to wake up. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think I think that just about covers it. Is there anything else you think that we forgot? Perusing our list. I think that was it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's on fleek. Oh, thank you. Yours. Um, all right. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Be sure to stay safe out there. And mm. Mm. Mm, more of that. Mm. Mm. Check us out on Patreon, too. Hey, we're back. Uh, we just forgot if you have any suggestions or questions, comments, questions, comments. anything like that, please, please, please um, post comments and we will do our best to answer them. Yeah, because I mean, I, th I think it's something that should be talked about. It shouldn't. Absolutely, yeah. Everybody should, you know. Everybody should just talk more about sex. <laughs> Well, it's something everybody does, and everybody be does to but talk about it. Exactly, but people are afraid, and it's well, it's especially when the situation's unique. Yeah, absolutely. But it, when it is unique, it can be even better. That's right. Oh, lovey. So lovey. Let me get more of that sugar. More. Mm. Mm. Okay. Bye for real this time. <laughs>